Jo Ann MacArthur, born December 23, 1976, is a Canadian photojournalist, humane educator, animal rights activist and author. She is known for her We Animals project, a photography project documenting human relationships with animals. Through the We Animals Humane Education Program, MacArthur offers presentations about human relationships with animals in educational and other environments, and through the We Animals Archive, she provides photographs and other media for those working to help animals. MacArthur was the primary subject of the 2013 documentary The Ghosts in Our Machine, directed by Liz Marshall, and with Carrie Cronin, she is the founder of The Unbound Project, which aims to celebrate and recognize female animal activists. Her first book, We Animals, was published in 2013, and her second, Captive, was published in 2017. MacArthur has been awarded a range of commendations for her photography and activism, including the 2018 Wildlife Photographer of the Year People's Choice Award. Photography MacArthur was raised in Ottawa, Ontario, and studied geography and English at the University of Ottawa. She decided to pursue photography after taking an elective course on black and white photography at university. She originally entered photography motivated by artistry, but her motives subsequently changed, and she instead came to see her camera as her tool for creating change. Her earlier work photographing animals was in the genre of street photography, but she now increasingly photographs captive animals, sometimes while undercover. In 2010, the trauma of her work led to her being diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder, though she has since recovered. Her photographs are sometimes published anonymously. Her work has been published in a variety of media, including the Canadian version of the lifestyle magazine Elle, the German news magazine Der Spiegel, and the American tourism magazine National Geographic Traveler. In addition, her photographs have been used by over 100 animal advocacy organizations and in academic work on human animal relationships. MacArthur appeared in the top 50 of the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation Champions of Change contest, and on Moore's fourth annual Fierce List. She has also been awarded the Institute for Critical Animal Studies's 2014 Media Award, and the Toronto Vegetarian Association. S. 2013 Lisa Grill Compassion for Animals Award with Liz Marshall. Farm Sanctuary awarded her the 2013 Friend of Farm Animals Award, and listed her as one of their Heroes of Compassion in 2016. In 2018, MacArthur was awarded the Wildlife Photographer of the Year People. S. Choice Award for a photograph of Pikan, a lowland gorilla rescued from poachers by Ape Action Africa, in the arms of Apollinaire and Dahudu, a carer, while Pikan was being transported between two sanctuaries in Cameroon. The photograph was selected by voters from a short list of 24 chosen by the Natural History Museum. MacArthur said that she was so thankful that this image resonated with people, hoping that it might inspire us all to care a little bit more about animals. No act of compassion towards them is ever too small. She went on to win the special award of the jury for the best single picture entry as a part of the Alfred Freed Photography Award 2018 for the same photograph. The jury were unanimous in their decision, and described the photograph by saying, Jo Ann MacArthur firmly believes that animals are individuals and have feelings. And if proof were needed she supplied it with this magnificent picture full of tenderness. A moment when it transpires that animals too know a feeling of safety and comfort, are able and willing to trust and need affection. And that they recognize when it is offered to them. We Animals MacArthur conceived of the We Animals project in around 1998 after an encounter with a macaque monkey chained to a windowsill in Ecuador. She photographed the monkey as she was appalled at the treatment, and knew that the way she saw our treatment of animals was important, and she wanted to share that point of view. On its website, We Animals is described as an ambitious project which documents, through photography, animals in the human environment. Humans are as much animal as the sentient beings we use for food, clothing, research, experimentation, work, entertainment, slavery and companionship. With this as its premise, We Animals aims to break down the barriers that humans have built which allow us to treat non-human animals as objects and not as beings with moral significance. 
The objective is to photograph our interactions with animals in such a way that the viewer finds new significance in these ordinary, often unnoticed situations of use, abuse and sharing of spaces. In December 2013, We Animals, a photobook by MacArthur containing both text and over 100 of her photographs, was published by Lantern Books. The activist Bruce Friedrich, in a review published by the Huffington Post, described it as the most gorgeous book he had experienced in many years. One which offers haunting sadness, but also intense hope. MacArthur has spoken in educational institutions since 2008. In 2014, a grant was awarded to MacArthur to develop the We Animals Humane Education Project by the Pollination Project and the Thinking Vegan. Through the We Animals Humane Education Program, MacArthur offers a variety of presentations in school, university and other environments. The program seeks to foster awe, curiosity and critical thinking about our relationships with animals. To instill reverence, respect and responsibility. Inspire empathy with animals, to create Gentler stewards of the earth, and to encourage people to be agents of positive change. In 2017, MacArthur launched the We Animals Archive, an archive of thousands of photographs and videos of animals in human-dominated environments. The archive serves as a repository of media from the wider We Animals project that can be freely used by individuals and organizations working towards animal protection goals. Captive MacArthur published a second book through Lantern, entitled Captive, in 2017. The book, which features contributions from the activist Virginia McKenna, the philosopher Lori Gruen, and Ron Kagan, of Detroit Zoo, focuses on the animals in zoos and aquaria. It also contains a series of short essays by MacArthur. Stephen F. Eisenman reviewed the book for Animal Liberation Currents, comparing MacArthur's photography with that of other zoo photographers and photographers of human prisons. He said that MacArthur's Captive is a powerful, visual survey of zoo animals and their physical conditions of captivity. But precisely because it examines so many different zoos and animals, it cannot provide significant insight either into the subjectivity of captive animals, or the ideological and economic function of zoological gardens. The merging of close and sustained photographic observation and detailed institutional history and critique is what is most lacking in the current generation of zoo books. That's a worthwhile project for MacArthur and her peers in the future. The Ghosts in Our Machine MacArthur was the main human subject of the 2013 documentary film The Ghosts in Our Machine, directed by Liz Marshall. The film avoids the shocking imagery of many documentaries focused on animal rights, such as Earthlings, meaning that it takes an almost arthouse approach, resulting in a film that's more a meditation on suffering and the relationship between humans and other species, than an angry, didactic diatribe. Writing in Variety, the critic Peter de Bruges said that It's enough to make you sad, not for the animals, to whom human cruelty is nothing new, but for MacArthur, this beautiful young woman who feels so deeply for those not of her kind that she carries their collective suffering around with her daily. What must it be like to experience PTSD after visiting dairy farms and facilities that supply primates for medical testing? Unbound Project With Carrie Cronin, an associate professor of art history at the Department of Visual Arts at Brock University, MacArthur founded the Unbound Project, a multimedia and book project aiming to recognize and celebrate women at the forefront of animal advocacy, in both a contemporary and historical context, and to inspire our audience to do what they can to make the world a kinder, gentler place for all species. Profiled women include Aisha Actor, Elisa Altola, Emeril Freshel, Anna Letitia Barbald, Carolyn Marino Mullen, Melissa Amarillo, Avalon Tyson, Lumka Galin Tate, Piia Antonin, Fanny Martin, Rabia Hawa, Sarungbam Yeifabi Devi, Catherine Meyer, and Patty Mark. References Further reading Asher, Catherine. 2014. Review, We Animals, 2013. 
Journal for Critical Animal Studies. 12-3, Bradshaw, G. A., 13 February 2016. The Voice of Image, Exploring the Psychology of Photography. Psychology Today. Retrieved 14 February 2016. Edgerton, Leah, the 25th of July 2016. Ace Interviews, Joe Ann MacArthur. Animal Charity Evaluators. Retrieved the 26th of July 2016. Johnson, Linda M. 2018. We Animals by Joe Ann MacArthur. Journal of Animal Ethics, 8, 1, 111 to 3. DOI 10.5406 Janimal Ethics, the 1st of August 111. External links Official website We Animals Unbound Project We Animals Humane Education Program We Animals Archive Joe Ann MacArthur on Mikey Pod Podcast